Om Shanti, welcome to 9th of September's Gauri Blessing. Supreme Father says, may you be a master best store of happiness. And as an embodiment of happiness, give happiness to every soul. So, the children who constantly perform righteous actions receive happiness and power as the instant fruit of those actions. You, If you don't have duality in your mind and you're doing all the actions, that means you're doing all your karma with your pure thoughts, pure words and pure physical actions, then there's no duality in your mind. That means you don't have any guilt, you don't have any remorse, you don't have anything to hide, you're being truthful to yourself and to others also. So you'll have a peaceful life, right? And more than peace, you'll have happiness and power. You'll feel powerful. You can face anyone, look them into the eye. Their hearts remain constantly happy for they cannot experience even the slightest wave of sorrow even in their thoughts. Why? Because they have pure hearts. To be a confused aged Brahmin means not to have any name or trace of sorrow because you are the children of the bestower of happiness. So when do we have sorrow? When we are thinking impure, when we are talking impure, when we are acting impurely. We hurt ourselves, we hurt our mind first, we hurt our intellect first and we hurt the core that is the soul which we are. And then when we become unhappy because of that hurt, we make others also unhappy. So God says, you cannot have any impure thoughts, you cannot have any kind of devilish thinking. So your thoughts, words and actions are perfect and pure. So you'll remain happy and powerful. And you can never be sorrowful. Why? Because you're doing all that properly, purely, with a clean and clear heart. So sorrow cannot come to you. So not to have any name or trace of sorrow because you're the children of the bestower of happiness. Children of such a bestower of happiness are themselves master bestowers of happiness. We also give happiness to others. They constantly give happiness to every soul. They will never cause sorrow or take sorrow. Now, some souls have a habit of taking sorrow because of our actions. And if our actions are righteous, then them taking any form of sorrow or them taking any kind of form of remorse or any kind of vengeance is their sanskar. For which we have to be someone who is good at finding out or judging what exactly is right and wrong. Om Shanti.